Hello everyone, welcome along to the West Coast Ball Connection YouTube channel. We're at the Under-18 Boys Grand Final, final game of the day. Royal Ricks in commentary alongside Nick Martin and we may even uh, get uh, Under-14 Boys Championship winning coach Ben Lawson into some special comments if we're not we will, careful. We will. We Hello can. Nick. Hey mate, how are you? Ben Lawson did promise us a halftime exclusive interview. Oh, there you go. So we'll make sure we work that in. <laughs> he is sitting next to us, uh, sitting next to us folks. He, of course, earlier in the day, his Domino's team got the win against Southern Wolves in what was a um, yeah entertaining close, affair. Close, close game all the way through. It was close, entertaining game, and he, he this guy next to me has not has not stopped showing everyone the fight. <laughs> he has, and he, he's very proud of it as well too. He is, he's showing it, he's showing it to us right now. All right, here <laughs> we go. Well, right, game on. Rightio, referees Nick Draper and Connor Westwood for this one. We are underway. Glenorchy control it to the left of your screen. Have control to tip. And we'll, we'll shout out a few players here in this game as we go along. Lachlan McCarthy puts up the two. Can't get that to go. Good aggressive take there by McCaffrey. Uh, yep. Yeah. Griffiths all the way through. Can't get that to go. And then Crennan with the rebound. Now back to McCarthy as we come back down the floor. It's interesting to see. So I know, I know Willis Crennan... Jacob Quarrell both uh, were game time decisions, so you yep. can see them out there having a crack. And of course, Jacob Quarrell's birthday today as well yes. too. Happy birthday to him. Small getting through sets of hands now. And on cue, Jacob Quarrell attacks the basket and will go to line for two. Of course, we saw his uh, brother playing early in the day up against Ben Lawson's team. Yes. Certainly yes. would have been a, <laughs> a bit of a nightmare for head coach Ben Lawson yes. trying to defend him. Yes. See the green on Ben's bar. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kroll misses the first. And makes the second. So scoring underway here. So Broom Hall. Back to White. And then now we've got McMahon. So Broom Hall for three. Can't get that to go. Rose with the rebound. Puts it up. And gets the two off glass to go. And then Grandy's open their scoring account. So Crennan looking for Roby, but then just caught that one in air. Griffiths goes all the way and gets the two to go. And will go to the line for one. He's, Harry Griffiths is going to be critical today mm. for Grenadiers. And I'm um, looking forward to you know, watching the matchup between him and Phoenix Roby. It's... It's uh, definitely going to be uh, the marquee matchup, so to speak. Uh, ab absolutely. And, of course, th those two players also are involved in the Hobart Chargers team and always fight for that 12th spot on the bench as well, too, each yeah. for each home game yeah. here. Both uh, have come through the SDP, yes. SDP program. Yes, they have. Um, yeah, both graduated athletes this year, which mm. I know they're, they're really proud of. So it's been, uh, yeah, great, great to see them... Uh, Finishing up the last uh, few months of being uh, junior basketball players. Yes, absolutely. And looking forward to how they go uh, as they approach seniors and the like in the future. So the ball with Quarrel here. Now yeah, McCarthy. Shot clock at four. Glenorchy need to get something up, and they do. Can't get that to go. Rose with the rebound. Just come back down the floor here. McMahon try to pick that up, but... Um, Look like McCar McCarthy there able to knock that one out of bounds. A bit of a slow pace to this one so far, Ronnie. Mm. It's um, been a little bit different to some of our other finals, which has been a bit more uh, fast paced, so to speak. Yes. Out, out of the gate. This yes. One's a little bit slower. Mm. Maybe both teams may be sensing the occasion, Nick. Yeah, Not that's really it. Sure. Feeling each other out a little bit at the moment. Yeah. Feel like it's round one again to some degree. Yeah. As Roby puts it to the floor, goes up, he drew the foul. He will go to the line for two. Of course, Phoenix Roby uh, talking with his dad, Peter, uh, asking about um, if it's going to be live streamed. I know he apparently they have a big family in a state. And hello to, all the, uh, to the Roby clan fam and might be watching this on replay. Of course, we can't live stream unfortunately we don't have enough gear as yet we'll, we'll <laughs> we're working there. on it we we'll are working on it but uh, glad you're tuning in to the broadcast Roby knocks down the second 4-3 early stages here in this first McMahon 
kicks that one out there to O'Brien. That looked, oh, Sam White, sorry. And now Crennan needs to pick up the scraps here. Slows this one down a little bit. Here's Roby. Working his way through. Good bounce pass inside there. And that was J Mitchell James there who couldn't get the two to go. Here's Griffiths. Oh. Work Roby here hard here one on one. So Griffiths looking for that on ball here. Gets it now. Griffiths goes exploring. Puts up a tough runner. Can't get that one to go. So Roby coming down the floor with it. Mark Radford in the house as well yes, too. He's just, he's just giving us a one. We'll definitely get him on comments. <laughs> yes. I have got a third headset too. So, I mean, oh, <laughs> if we'll, worst comes to worst. We'll definitely get him on comments of course. Uh, shortly here. Yes, and now the assistant coach at the Tasmanian Check Jumpers, of course, uh, and, a former, and, of course, the former development uh, manager for our state, Nick, as well yes, too, which you yes. now take over on. Yes, big shoes to fill, that's mm. for sure. Uh, now, I mean, Carfi did hit McMahon on the arm there on the shot, yes. That was pretty obvious from our angle here. So Charlie McMahon will go to the line for two. It's certainly been a, um, a, a day of who's who around here, Nick, that is for sure. That is it. All the celebrities come out for the big games. That's it. And then when you've certainly got Ben Lawson just showing off a plaque, he's, he's, he's showing he, Mark right he now. He's going to show he's Mark. <laughs> he did, yeah. Have a look at this, Mark. He, he won. And Charlie McMahon knocks down the second. Very proud of his accomplishments, as he's, he should be. As, as he should be, yes, absolutely. So McCarthy with the ball carrying duties here for Glenorchy. Trying to look for Kroll. A bit of off ball action between Kroll and Broomhall, but the play continues. Rose able to deflect it, and now Griffiths with it as we come up the floor here to Rose. Nice running and good transition play by Grandiers. Nice pass over Harry. Way to lead him on to that one. Mm. So Roby coming back down the floor. An early four point lead here for. Grand ears, and then Roby and a foul there on Griffiths just for that extra reach. So McCarthy to restart here. Low scoring affair to kick us off in this first quarter. It's Kroll. Puts it to the floor. Putting on some moves. Nearly got the two to go. Griffiths with the rebound. Now Broomhall, thought about it, had to slow down here. So Griffiths wanting that on ball from Rose. So Griffiths looking for, and just a bit of mis mistiming there by the two boys. Obviously got the right idea in place, but certainly not there. Jordan Cooper coming into the game. He's had a busy day. He's been refereeing some grand finals as well too. Lewis Crennan having a bit of a rest. He has, and I believe he was in the Shield final in the game. Prior, as oh, a, there you go. As a number of the Glenorchy uh, uh, Spartans players were. Yeah. A uh, Rebel, sorry. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. Still, still making that adjustment. Yes. <laughs> All new to us. McMahon able to intercept that one. So McMahon need, will try to go to White there, but couldn't. So Roby now with it. So he slows this one down. Looking inside to Cooper. Now Roby for three. Yes. And I'll get Phoenix Roby's confidence going early with a, a, a quick knockdown shot like that early on in this game. And we're back to one point, 7-6. Now White. Yep, still very, I was just saying, still very much, a, you know, the pace of the game is still quite slow. And I, I think that would be more favourable to Grenadiers, mm. um, this kind of half-court, slow-paced um, style of game. It'll be interesting to see if the tempo does pick up or if that this slow maybe defensive grind does play out for the entire game uh, Roby for back-to-back -back threes yes oh, that's, that's definitely you know an area of his game that he's he's you know really worked really really hard on and I know he puts a lot of time into his shooting and um, yeah his shots definitely looking a lot faster than yes what, what it was you know a year or two ago mm. so um, still some improvement to be made for sure but good to see him uh, not Knocked two in a row down. And Broomhall will get the tip. No, waved off there. So we'll see. So that foul's been assessed on. Might have been Charlie Command there. Okay. Yep. What was that one? Was, uh, oh, I think it was just a push. A little push on the back. Yeah, a little push on the back on the rebounding contest. So Asha Akin coming in. And it was Mitchell James coming out there for 
And Glenwalky Rebels as Roby puts and puts it to the floor. Again, good good draw of the fair day against Noel Brown. And good to see Glenwalky, you know, he's, he's knocked down back to back shots, so they make sure next play down the floor, let's, let's get him a touch. Mm. And I think that's um, actually an under, underrated element of the game that, um, you know, not a lot of teams. Uh, are really good, I guess, at recognising that. Of, mm. Okay, this guy's just hit a shot. Let's make sure we, we get him another one. So, yep. good to see uh, Glenorchy getting that done. Uh, absolutely. So, Roby misses the first. Can't get the second to go. Cooper with the O board. Now, McCarthy try to go back door, but Green is able to read that one. Rose up the floor and too much heat on the pass. Timeout being called here by Ben Rose, the, the coach of Grandies, and it's nine plays seven in what has been yeah, a very odd start to the game, Nick. Has, uh, they're both teams still very much fueling each other out, and uh, like I said, I feel the slow pace is probably you know, better suited for Grenadiers. Mm. I just think with the, just that depth of the team and yep. you know, less possessions in the game is probably more favourable for them. Um, Obviously, Glenorchy starting to, you know, figure, you know, it always looks better, right, when you knock down some yeah. shots. And oh, absolutely. Which I have on the last mm. few plays. Be interested to see what what Danian uh, runs here out of the timeout and, and see if see what adjustments, if any, um, Grenadiers make defensively. Yeah, uh, it will will be certainly. Both teams working the whiteboards quite hard, we can see, from our vantage point up here. So certainly going to be a few adjustments being made here. Been a big day. We had under 12s, under 14s, under 16s, and now we're here at under 18s, Nick, and then we got, we're back here for the girls we can tomorrow. We're going to do it again tomorrow. We'll oh, yes, that. absolutely. Only the three grand finals to go with tomorrow, so, which is good. Uh, it's always exciting. It is. It is an exciting day, and, and um, always great to get to this time of year. Definitely, definitely. Mm. So, with it, the birthday boy. Now to Roby. Back to Kroll, who put... Going baseline, that's a tough shot. It, it really maybe not probably the right look there. And it's Brown will come up with it now. So Brown into Rose. Rose, that's a tough shot. Yeah, but a foul on the play here. And it's going to be on Asher Atkin. So Fletcher Rose at the line for two. Makes the first. Makes the second. So we're tied at nine. Seems like a bit more of a flat atmosphere here. It Maybe is. Too. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you can nearly hear a pin drop, Nick. As Roby puts it to the floor. Good pass into Atkin for the two. Great vision there by Phoenix Roby. So Brown bringing up the floor here. Here's Griffiths. This game is certainly going to a half-court game, you'd think. Brown open for three. And that missed everything. And good work there by Rose. Probably try to draw, try to draw a foul there, but referees weren't taking that one. Cooper... Stops it halfway now, gives it to Kroll in term here with McCarthy. So Roby goes for another three. That one's short. Broomhall with the rebound. Now McMahon. So McMahon fought about it. Brown lost the handle and travel violation called. And we've seen a few of these travels today, Nick. Just those ba some of those basic fundamentals there, just really catching out the players. Yeah, you know that's what makes you know the, the better players the better players. That, you know that, those fundamentals and, and having really good footwork and and all of that. Um, just kind of going back to Phoenix. Obviously, spoke about a shooting, and, yep. and uh, I think that last possession uh, is an example of, I guess, the next step he needs to be able to take with the shooting is is more so being able to generate the shot and knock it down himself. Mm. Whereas the two threes he had hit prior was a little bit more. He was kind of just on the back end of it. Yep. Um, so when the defense is going under, like they were that last play, um, you know, got to be able to step up and knock that down. Little broom hall coming out. 
And Alex O'Brien coming in. His first minutes of the afternoon. Griffiths has to kick it out. Brown puts it to the floor. Back to Griffiths. He goes baseline. Over Roby, yes. So back to back to a tied ball game. 11 apiece here. There's Roby. Now Crennan. Crennan trying to find a gap. It was never there. Brown to McMahon. McMahon able to get the layup. So a little bit of run and gun here at the moment. There's McCarthy. Now Roby puts it to the floor. And a quick foul there. That'll be on O'Brien, I reckon. Both teams in the penalty. So we'll be shooting free throws. So Ethan uh, Tercel and Mitchell James come back in. While Jordan Cooper and uh, Asher Atkin come out as Phoenix Roby, uh, Phoenix Roby knocks down the first. And if you're going to is here, critical in a minute 40, you want to make sure you go into the break, you know, tied or up. And um, and I think that's why Daniel Savile's made the subs he has, is to try and see if they can go on a little run here to finish the uh, quarter strong. So Griffiths now McMahon. Here's Rose with it. Rose working his way through over a couple of defenders and gets the two to go. He's been active in this mm. one, you know, strong body. Uh, pretty tough to stop around the rim, which uh, good to see him be a presence early. Mm. So Roby. Crennan ball is going for three from McCarthy. He's good. We know Lockie McCarthy can knock down that three and it can be a streaky shooter when he can be. Yeah, Nick. that's it. Good to see McGaffrey get, um, you know, get involved. And he's been a little bit quiet so far in this one. So hopefully that will... Uh, to his confidence and good. Hopefully so. Griffiths can't get the two to go. Now Crennan with the rebound. Now James back to Roby here as we again we just slow this one down a little bit. So Crennan now to Tosell. So Roby looking for an on ball here. Looking for the roll here to James. They go with the play and execute it well. Nice little uh, fake with the eyes there by Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And uh, found the roller, which is a good pick and roll play. Up by two here. There's Rose. Goes the hook. Can't get it to go. Crennan with the rebound. Can Glenorchy be able to get a quick score here yeah, and extend make, their lead? Make sure they're going to get the last shot here, which is good to see that uh, that acknowledgement of the game clock. Yes. McCarthy goes for it. and Not there. Roby on the quarter time buzzer. He's short. And that sees us out here for the first quarter in what was an interesting yet flat type kind of half grind, half court quarter. Uh, Phoenix, uh, not Phoenix, Glenorchy lead it by two, 17 to 15. Yeah, I think you just see the, uh, yeah, just the pace of the game is quite slow at the mm. moment. And, um, you know, some ball movement by both teams, but it just doesn't have that pop or sharpness to the ball movement. And, um, yeah, some good form and player movement for sure, but I think uh, for both teams, it, the, I'm sure there'll be an emphasis moving forward of just doing things with a, a little bit more intent, a little bit more purpose. Mm. So see, it's been interesting to see that the, the trend that we've had all day with, with, with the games we've seen here on court. I'm not sure about the Shield games, but just that, that pace and tempo has been so quick and fast, yet this one's just way sl slow down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but then uh, I guess on the flip side, one thing you notice in this game, probably more so than any of the other games, has been that half-court execution. Mm -hmm. like there's there's clear structure, which is good, but good. Mm -hmm. you, you want to make sure that, you know, that's not at the detriment to, to finding, you know, yep. easy opportunities. And uh, even if you're playing in the half-court, you still want to be, again, at, you know, down the court with some pace. So, uh, um, again, I'm sure both teams and mm -hmm. coaches have spoken about that. So start of the second quarter, about to get underway here. Fletcher Rose will kick us off. Oh, kick us off. And we are set to go here. So Griffiths with the ball carrying duties. Now ball getting moved around here. Broomhall getting closely pressured there. Then O'Brien now back to Brown. 
So Brown puts it to the floor and got caught there and travel violation. So, Polinorki to get it back here. As McCarthy will bring this down. So Roby in, in turn to McCarthy. McCarthy puts it to the floor. Nice give to James, but just bobbled that one up. Broomhall up and running. Has Griffiths in support. Does utilise him. Back to Broomhall for the mid-range. Yes. So nice running there by Grandiers to tie this one back up. So Crennan. Now Roby thought about it. Now McCarthy goes for it. Short on that one. Rebound by Griffiths. As we come back down the floor. So Broomhall. It's to the floor. Finds a gap. Can't get that to go either. Well, decides to go for three. Just back on on that one. So McCarthy coming down the floor here. Now, Crown trying his luck from deep. Who knows, that might get him going. I know, you know he's had a tough run, and unfortunately, for, for Lewis this year of injuries and, and various things going on. Um, mm. So, you know, probably early he's been forcing things a little bit, and that shot was probably no exception to that. But, uh, you know, get, knocking it down, hopefully that's going to help him find a little bit of rhythm. On Ho the court. Hopefully so, yes. No, I do agree, yes. Lewis had a bit of a... Tough stretch, and but great, great to see him back out on the floor here. Turnover by Glenorchy. As Griffiths thought about it, looking at his option. O'Brien uh, now back to Griffiths for three. Yes. So Griffiths knocks down that triple. And so all of a sudden, Grandies are up by two. Roby now into Crennan here. And then good pass into McCarthy. Nice play. That's one of Lewis's strengths is his ability to pass the ball and a really good cut there off the ball by uh, Lockie and um, great recognition there to, to find him by Lewis. So Griffiths kicks it out. O'Brien now back to Brown. So Brown finds that middle opening and gets the two to go. Harfie putting on some moves. He goes himself and gets the two to go. As Reese Crennan and Daniel Savile have a good conversation out on the on the on their coaches' seats. Noel Brown gets it to go as we go finally get some end-to-end -end stuff happening here. Pace is slowly picked up. <laughs> and I could take that by Noel Brown. Um, under 16 Aphroid, so playing yes. uh, up here under 18s and being aggressive on the court, which is, that's fantastic to see, and making some plays the last, last few possessions. That's been good. He's, um, he's, he's starting to show good improvement as well too, Nick. I mean, oh, we've been watching him the yeah. last few years. Most definitely. He's had a, you know, really good growth spurt. Yes. In, in recent, uh, mm. recent, you know, 12 months, uh, 12, 18 months or so, um, which that always helps. And uh, but no, he can definitely shoot the ball and um, that extra size and length he has now. Um, yeah, really valuable skills to have as a basketball player. Uh, absolutely. Height is always a good thing sometimes in this sport, that is for sure. Broomhall. McMahon thought about it, now puts it to the floor, kicks it out, Brown, and... The lot, yes. It always works like that, right? We mm. compliment someone, and yep. then they turn it over. Yep. <laughs> well, I remember that in a 14 game, I complimented yep. Archie Devine yes. for <laughs> some good decision-making, and then he jacks it free the next way down. Like, mm. Come on, what's yeah. going on? It's a commentator's, anyway. it's a commentator's yeah. curse up here, it really is. Ben Lawson showing us the plaque. Yes. He shakes his head. Yeah, absolutely. Good to see him. Good to see him. He's with, with us in the commentary area. Phoenix Roby went for the three. He was short on that one. Noel Brown with the rebound, and he's off and running. Has Griffiths in support. So Griffiths slows this one back down. And again, Grandiers will work it to their pace here on this possession. So Griffiths now one-on-one -on -one with Roby and tough make. Try to create off that as well too a little bit, Griffiths, but Roby there for the rebound. So now with McCarthy as we come up the floor here. Again, McCarthy looking for the opening. Wraparound pass into James. James goes 
cross court here to Quarrel. Now McCarthy, shot clock at four. McCarthy had to go and recognise that shot nicely. Like you mentioned, he can, once he gets in a row, he can he can be quite streaky with shooting. So mm. uh, I think uh, Lockie's uh, found the rhythm of the game and that's going to be benefit for the uh, for Lockie. Absolutely, as Griffiths can't get that two to go. And we have, I have, we have seen Lockie throughout this year. Once he gets on that hot streak, you know, he, he he's hard, he's tough to stop. Oh, most definitely, most definitely, and you know, he's definitely been one of the bigger improvers over the last, you know, 12, 24 months or so. Mm. And um, yeah, great to see him uh, find a bit of rhythm in this one. Absolutely, timeout being called here. Five sixteen remaining. We're tied at twenty seven here. So again, there's been a good. A good rolling crowd in throughout the majority of the day, which is always great for basketball. And of course, the best thing, and you know, the best thing for us here, Nick, is has been, you know, it's like, um, you know, kids have been able to play. You know, we're not in. We, you know, thank goodness we're not in a situation where some of the other states are. But, you know, we're very lucky in that, in that fortunate, and we've been able to get through our junior season without um, uh, no no delay. Yeah, exactly. So, no, fantastic to see. Yeah, such a great turnout and the support and just the general environment and atmosphere that's been that's been really really uh, positive part of today i'm sure that's going to carry over tomorrow for the for the girls finals um yeah that's it's, yeah. it's, it's great and uh today uh yeah, it's 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 been a really fun day it's yeah fun it has been it. Yeah, it certainly has been it's been great of course was he last night setting up and yes, you could just yes. you could just feel feel the you know the excitement about today so it's great to see meanwhile back at the ball game no brown able to peel that one off and now mcmahon with it so he looks at his options goes to brown good running by noah brown who gets two off glass he meant to bank that right I well the so. bank has been, been open up. we've seen some it interesting um, today, sure. bankers I did go to the ATM this morning, Nick, so did. <laughs> yeah. definitely bank is open. Cooper with it. McCarthy for another three. Just short on that one. Should have tried to bank that one, I reckon. <laughs> one helps him. No, no, no. He's, he's been on fire. He certainly has been. Mm. So McMahon goes himself, lost the handle. Cooper able to get a hand on that. So Grand is to restart. So Broomhall. Now Rose into Griffiths for three. And just off on that one. Crawl with the rebound. Now McCarthy to bring it down here for us. So McCarthy, nice move. Kick out pass here. I don't have a 49. I'll get onto that later on, but the three. He's good. Good decision making there. Good little extra pass. And, um, Phoenix Roby continues on from his uh, good shooting in the first quarter. Certainly does. So, foul assist there. It's going to be on Jordan Cooper. So, Charlie, uh, Charlie McMahon to line for two. Can't get that to go. Oh, no, 49. Uh, 49. Jesse Laycock is number 49. He's just out of order on my team sheet. Meanwhile, McMahon knocked down the free throw. So, Roby. Spin move. And then try to go to Cooper, but good defensive play by Grandiers to stop that one. As Griffiths now has a few orange jerseys to beat. Puts up that tough runner. And I've seen that move happen before on a Friday night here at the Kingdra yep. Sports Centre. Yeah, no, he's, you know, it's obviously uh, easier said than done. He's really strong and uh, very capable of getting to his left hand, his preferred mm. left hand. Um, easier said than done trying to take that away from him. And easier said than done as Lockie McCarthy knocks down the triple. Yeah, his eyes in and um, <laughs> if I'm granted it is, I'm a little bit concerned. Yes. That he's, uh, he's on a bit of a roll at the moment. So Griffiths. Now Rose, and then, yeah, well-weighted play there, and Griffiths with the layup. So good patience on that one. Yeah, you feel the pace of the game is picking up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just coming up a bit now, which would favour more Glenorchy, because we know Glenorchy lot to 
running running kind of gun. Yeah, it's just that it's just about the pace and you know how many possessions there are in the game. Mm. Typically, that's more possessions, the more that's in favour of. You know, I guess the more talented team. Um, but you know, if your great idea is like that last possession, good to get yourself some easy ones. Absolutely, Roby with it. Now Cooper. Cooper finding an opening, tries to split for a couple. Good hands by Griffiths. Now Broomhole as they're off and running. Has McMahon in support, he'll utilise it. McMahon, well, trying to nearly go off glass. Cooper's done something with his finger. Meanwhile, McCarthy goes the other end of the floor. Tough runner, can't get that to go either. Brown with the rebound. And now back down the floor. Brown trying his luck, that's back on. McMahon to save it, but run down to real estate in the end. And Mitchell James coming in, and yep, Jordan Cooper will have that looked at. I don't know. I think now might be a, an okay time for Glenorchy to look for a timeout. It's obviously ball's come in, so too mm. late now. But I, I just feel like uh, lost their way a little bit the last uh, few possessions. Um, so sometimes, you know, utilising that timeout to, to just get yourselves organised is... Mm. Roby puts up a tough shot, can't get it to go, gets his own rebound, and then he gets the two to go on the second effort. That's going to be assessed on Sam White, who kind of stepped up on the play, and Phoenix Roby will go back to the line for one. Sam White's second personal foul of the afternoon. Roby knocks it down. So it's back tied 36 here in what has been one of the most interesting first halves I think we've seen in a while. Rose couldn't get the hook shot to go. Roby with now as we come back down the floor here. So Roby putting on some moves. Goes himself. Can't get the two to go. Plenty, plenty of white jerseys there. Now Broomhall pulls up for three. Just short on that one. And good work by McMahon to say that. So McMahon works his way through, gives it off to White, can't get that two to go either. I've seen a lot of off-the-bounce pull-up threes in transition today. It's, it's good. Which is not, I wouldn't say that's a compliment. No, <laughs> definitely not. That's a great thing. Anyway. Jacob Kroll gets the two. Um, yes, yeah, certainly. It's been interesting to see that just sneaking in into some of the players' games for yes, some reason. Uh, I've definitely made a note about shots. Very good, Nick. That's Very a, good, Nick. An area to discuss. <laughs> yes. So marching back out the two. We're under a minute remaining here. Kroll inside to James. James now back to Kroll, who goes up strong. And a good, tough finish there by Jacob Kroll. So Glenorchy, yeah, that's a four-point lead. Probably the biggest lead we've seen for the entire half. And now Grandy is slowing this one down. Shot clock and game clock with about a five second difference. Broomhall. Shot clock at five. Broomhall needs to get busy. And good solid defensive possession there for Grandiers. No, sorry, for Glenorchy. <laughs> rather, not a great offensive possession for Grandiers. So Glenorchy have got 2.1 to get a shot off. Does that need to have a timeout here? Uh, I'd assume so because I don't think we've seen that many timeouts no. though. Ethan anyway, Top. Anyway, I'm yeah. sure they've already got a play in their back pocket. Yeah, they situation. sure do. Let's see here. So they go to Roby. Roby from mid court and just off glass. So an interesting first half to see Glenorchy lead it by 4, 40 to 36. And uh, as, I, as I was just saying, Nick, yeah, it's just one, it's one of the most interesting halves of basketball we've seen all year. It's funny, like, you know, you look at the scoreboard and there's been more than enough scoring. Mm. Uh, you know, and, and like I said, some good spacing and some good you know, execution in the half court. And, and uh, you know, granted it is, uh, um, probably more so have found those easy opportunities in transition yep. from time to time. Uh, I still feel that the pace of the game is still quite slow and would like to, again, just see a little bit more crispness mm. with the ball movement and the player movement. And, um, often the you know the first thing you do on your possession sets you up for the pace of that possession. Mm. So if your first cut slow, then the possession is going to be slow. If you, you know, dribble the ball down the court, as opposed to you know maybe being able to kick it ahead, well that's just going to set up the pace of your possession. And I feel like 
uh, that yeah, that first bit of actions right now just isn't uh, at the pace of the, you know, um, yeah, the speed that it just needs to be. Yep. Yeah, no, it certainly has been an interesting style play from both teams. That is for sure. And yeah, it's been a it's been a massive morning and a massive day. We're at two o'clock at the moment. <laughs> as it's, uh, we've had some close games, so yep. naturally, we, you know, as you would hope mm. to see in finals, but naturally, as that happens. Um, Makes the day go a little bit longer. It's games, yes, uh, it certainly un does. Unnecessarily on schedule. <laughs> which so is, it's is always the case. Yes. It's just like it was never going to be a twelve forty-five tip-off. No, that exactly. is for sure. So yes, but no, great, great, and great to see that we've got both the show courts out as well too. Um, always good when we can play on these bigger courts, Nick, and exactly. makes for a different atmosphere. Absolutely. As well too, and of course. Probably should mention Phoenix Roby and Harry Griffiths are probably used to these rims, seeing that they have been on the floor yes. uh, uh, for home games here at the Chargers. They've been in many a way up wine. Yep. And, uh, you know, a little bit of time on the court, which has been good to see. Yeah. yeah that, their opportunity, they've made the most of that. They so. certainly have. And, you know, it's been more exciting for us in commentary to too when we do see our youngsters yeah, out no, on the floor. Fun. So it's awesome to see that. It is, absolutely. So second half about to get underway here. Glenorchy on a four-point lead as we... Go into term number three. There's McCarthy now. James, he's Kroll. We'll see if one team can really push it here. Uh, Kroll couldn't get that shot to go. Here's Broomhall. He'll come back down the floor. Broomhall trying to split a couple. Not, and a late whistle there. I think that we'll see. Looks like that's going to be on Jacob Kroll. So third quarter... As they always say, Nick is the premiership quarter. Do we see a team here make a run? A really good run that can really maybe open the game up. Yeah, and I think for me, again, it just continues to come back to mm. that point around the pace of, of, of just, and when I say pace, it's not necessarily you know, having to try to get fast break points. Yeah. I mean the pace of just everything you do, the, the cuts, mm. the ball movement. Um, you know, so if, if one of the, you know, if one team can... Uh, you know, bed that down and do a good job there, then, yeah, I think that's going to set them up to uh, you know, have, a, have a good week going into the fourth quarter. Mm. So McMahon goes for three. That missed everything. And Glenorchy to get it back. So McCarthy coming down the floor here. Now Crennan in term crawl. So Kroll really works hard. Now Crennan decides to go from deep. Just short on that one. Rebound by White. Now Rose up the floor here. Oh, ben Lawson shows us the <laughs> mic one last time <laughs> one before he heads off. Oh, he's going. He's going to. He's, he's, oh, he's go on. He's going to the crowd. All right. He's, he's on the tour. Okay. No Rose at all. Meanwhile, White getting in a little bit of spot of bother there. But Broomhall able to help him out. Broomhall step back two is good. That's a tough make. Right there, Nick. So margin back at two here. There's McCarthy. Now Tosell. James. And travel. So Griffiths coming down the floor here. Now Broomhall, here's McMahon. Tries his luck again from the land of plenty, and this time it's good for like Charlie it. McMahon. I like it. Shooter's confidence. you got to have that. Absolutely. Doesn't no matter if it's your fifth three or sixth three that you take, it's bound to go down at some stage. Glenorchy kind of nearly lose it in error. Shot clock at eight as McCarthy, and then a quick foul here on Griffiths. It's interesting to see some of the, the body language at the moment and just how each team is, is taking it. Glenorchy look really focused. Green is obviously only you know only got the seven players, so again tough to kind of judge their body language here a little bit, Nick. But you can, so it still it still seems very flat around the place. Yes, mm. I agree with that, and I, if anything, I feel nice take there by Rocky yep. and Gaffrey, but um, 
I don't know. My, my general fear would be that Milwaukee's still kind of just playing to not lose a little bit, which again, you know, for me, that's the benefit screen it is. Yep. As Broomhall goes for the two, and then a late foul. And Connor West would say you have to allow the play to land because you've got to have that landing space. So that, that's why the foul is called. I wouldn't want to say Glenorchy is toying with Grandiers to, to a degree, but, I mean, you I'll know. You, I dare say it's dangerous territory. It is. <laughs> but, you've, but you feel like, you know, if I'm head coach Daniel Sowell over there, I feel like, you know, I would tell him, look, you know, we've got, you know, such and such, so more than these guys. Let's see if we, you know, just find some fire in the belly. And really try and see if you can, yeah, you know, push this out, push this out a bit. It's like this game. I feel like this game is waiting to open somewhere. We just don't know where at the moment yes. this is going to open, Nick. Yep. So Broomhall for the second. That's the two to go. With back to a tied ball game, 42 apiece here, two and a half in here in the third quarter. So Atkin into Kroll. Kroll puts it to the floor, kicks it out. Last touch there by Tercel. And now Laycock and Phoenix Roby come back into the game. So Griffith's calling the play as we come down the floor. Bit of screening action at the top here. Now Rose puts it to the floor. McMahon open. Can't get the three to go. Good action there by you know, mm. Grandiers. And I think they're getting a lot of value out of that double stagger they're mm. running. And you know, I've had a couple of open threes. And on that play, uh, you know, create the opportunity to drive it to the hoop. And good kick out pass. Crennan now out to Laycock for three. And hit the side of the backboard there. Broomhall off and running. Has got White in support and uses him well. So a little bit of a run there. We'll see where this game does pick up, if anywhere here. So McCarthy with it. Goes back to Laycock. Roby wanting that on ball. Now gets it. Roby just staying patient on what he wants to do. Nice step through. Can't get the two to go. Here's Rose with the rebound as we come back down the other end. Now McMahon on the spin. Goes with the floater and gets the two. Damien very much is... Uh has, has resisted, I guess, the urge to call any time mm. now. So I dare say if they score again, he's going to need to. Yes. Especially considering they've only scored the uh, two points in the first four minutes of the quarter. Yes, yes, that's a good point, Nick. And we'll see. Let's see what happens on this possession here yeah, as Griffiths finds that opening, kicks it out to White. White tries to go through a couple, and foul's been assessed, and that's going to be on Crennan. Now, I just wonder here if. Daniel will go for a timeout. He is near the scorer's table, but yeah, just more with the standing there, just been trying to arm and arm on the play. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he calls it here after mm. the free throws, but we will see. See, I'm just trying to pick up if he is going to say anything to the bench. That's, yeah, it's always that interesting one of, you know, mm. do you want the players play? Do you, uh, yeah, do you have to... Yeah, and you know, he's got a. He, that's one thing he definitely has in his back pocket. Is a yep. Very yep, and there you go. <laughs> there you go, say, Nick. He's got a very experienced group. He he's, does. He's been relying on that. Uh, mm. but, yeah, right on cue. He's, he's called the time out. Yep. No, and not a bad, and, and yeah, not a bad one to call. I think, um, you know, yes, they've got that experience. Yes, the, this group has played a lot of basketball together over a number of years now. But there are times where I think as a coach, you, you, you know, it's like, right, I think we need to have a chat with him and, you know, try and work this out together. And most definitely, and mm. I think a valuable point uh, as well, and hence why he kind of just waited there, was to ensure that his team has possession of the ball now, coming out of the timeout. So it's going to give them an opportunity to draw something up. And like I said, they've only had the two points so far this quarter. So I'm sure they're, whatever it is they're drawing up, there's going to be an emphasis on trying to find a, you know, a cheap, easy two. Mm. Absolutely. 5.53 remaining here. Grandy's up by five. That's the biggest lead we've had all, da, uh, all game. I wouldn't say all day. We, I think the, um, the under-16s finals had a double-digit lead throughout that game yes, as well yes. too, Nick. And um, 
We would make fun of Ben Lawson, but he's not here. No, anymore. he's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's he's gone off, and I think Mark Radford is talking to some of the some of the um, southern parents here who have had who have got their sons and daughters Cele involved. Like the celebrities, they yes. get, you know, they get the fans come up <laughs> and want to have a chat. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. A little uh, shout out. He's on, he's on the baseline down there, but uh, Jack Fleming. Yep. Uh, the what, third assistant coach for the Jack Jumpers. Oh, yeah. He's in the building. So oh, there you go. To see him checking out some of the juniors. Uh, me and Jack have had some conversations, and I'm sure that uh, wherever we can find an opportunity, he's you know, gonna, uh, him and the rest of the Jack Jumpers coaching staff are pretty keen to um, you know be involved and, and get back to the grassroots. and and uh, the pathway, so to speak, which uh, so really good to see Jack out here. Oh, absolutely. Great to see he's down here, along with Mark Radford and Jacob Chance, uh, uh, Scott Roth's coaching staff. And of course, we have seen Scott in the yes. building for our today as well, too. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job, Scott, of yeah, showing his face and getting around the community, mm. and, and not just here in the South, but statewide, which has been really, really cool to see that. Thanks, Roby. Can't get that two to go off the mini runner. And now Brown with it. Up the floor, Broom Hall. Griffiths for three. Yes. Here we go. This might be that moment you're talking about. It could. Mm. You know, currently has got to eight here. So critical minutes for Gwinorki. McCarthy for three. Yes. Why not? Right back at you. Mm. And they go get a stop here. Mm. Uh, you can trade baskets, but would like to see maybe a little bit more ball pressure and, and then just get after it a little bit more mm. defensively. I think that's what the, this game has lacked as Broomhall puts up the two. Just lacking that little bit of defensive intensity and that, that kind of that sudden pressure that, that yeah. we do see from the other age groups. Yeah, I just say that uh, yeah, the ball pressure and it's been a bit more, you know, short close, which I'm sure is dependent on the scout. You mm. know, and it's probably saying, hey, let's yeah. sag a little bit because they're not maybe. There's no Brown on the miraculous play there. You might be saying, you know, they're not the greatest perimeter shooters, so we can give that little bit of a gap and then contest the weight. Uh, but when you do that, the flip side is you then don't have much ball pressure. Mm. That's true. It's Lewis Crowntry can't get the two go, and then <laughs> uh, Ben Rose has lost that. Uh, sorry, Fletcher Rose has lost that one off his five. Substitutions. Uh, substitutions galore coming in for Glenorchy. And Ben Rose wants to have a bit of a chat. So time out call. They're up by seven. 3.56 remaining, yeah, Nick. Yeah, I just... Hmm. Interesting timeout. This one, and the reason I say that is, yeah. granted, is you know the momentum is going our way, and mm. uh, if anything, you know, if I'm Daniel, if, if they were to score another time, I'm, I'm seriously considering burning it. I know he's just caught one, but burning yeah. another one. Mm. Um, so that we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe you know, it might be to give players a rest and and, and whatnot. So there's there's always you know many factors um, that we have to consider as coaches when calling a timeout, but I, I do feel like that could play in the benefit yep. of uh, Gwinorki, that one. Um, but, uh, you know, I, again, it, sometimes it's good to get a player's a break, and, and I'm sh as you can see very clearly, he's on the board and mm. uh, probably looking to execute something, yeah. make a few adjustments here out of the timeout. No, absolutely. Mm. And it's fun, you know, and I, I talk about it all the time, and uh, you know, timeouts are when you call, and, all, and it's... Mm. it's easier to sit back here and, and you know when you're not actually on the sidelines doing it and there's a real art to calling time yes there is yes and it's, uh, mm. by no means a knock on any of the coaches when i comment on it it's uh mm. um yeah, because it's, it's, it's not easy no certainly not so we've restarted and then crown and roby work together on a two-man game and get the two to go so back to five here as griffiths comes down the floor now McMahon, and another travel call. So Cooper to restart us. Now Roby. So Crennan, back to Cooper, who's obviously worked out that finger, but then lost it. So Griffiths got James to beat, and then now that will count. Well, it will count, yes. A bit of goaltending there, but the ball clearly did go through the hoop. Tough, so Tough finish there by Harry. He was. Tough finish. I don't know how he managed to get it off still with his left hand. It uh, looked like he spin. went off by both yeah, fans there, Yeah, Nick. yeah, yeah. Mm. 
So this margin is still out at seven here as Roby puts it to the floor, goes up, can't get the roll, goes for seconds and gets it to go. Phoenix Roby will go to the line for one and that gets that Glenorchy bench up and about a little bit. And yeah, that's that's one of the real strengths of Phoenix is, is just the multiple efforts mm. that it gives. Um, which, you know, we've seen it many times today. Yeah. You know, missed the first shot, and then he just straight away is off the floor again and yeah. putting it back, uh, you know, which that's that's one of uh, the things that makes him, you know, a special uh, talent is, is that is the multiple efforts and, and just how hard he works. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's good to see Rose. Now McMahon. Now Noel Brown for three. Just back on on that one. Rose and Griffiths there to help out. Now, Brown going for seconds. Can't get that to go either. So, margin back at four here, 54-50. This is two and a half to go here in the third. A critical part here for Glenorchy to work this one back if they can. There's Roby. Now, Cooper open for three. Can't get that to go either. Fake, step through, off glass is good. Much better shot by Jordan Cooper. And on the flip side, I 100% agree with you, Ronnie, but mm. on the flip side, if you're Grenadiers, you, know, you had a seven, eight point lead. Now it's to two. You want to make sure you're going into the three quarter time break with the lead here. Mm. Yep. So McMahon from the elbow, from well, free throw really couldn't get that to go. Cooper with the rebound, and definitely yeah, an interesting time for Grandies here, as you say, Nick. I do, I do agree with that. As Roby pulls up from the elbow, can't get that to go either. Now Griffiths. Here's Brown. Broom Hall. Puts up a miraculous shot. Couldn't get that to go. Won't get the foul on that play. And a technical foul has been called on Will Broom Hall, who had a little bit too much to say to referee Nick Draper. Ben Rose is just trying to get a bit of clarity. Yeah, clarification. I dare say Nick Draper is known for a quick technical foul from time to time, but uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, I'm sure it was warranted. Yes, so something must have been, I, I assume something must have been said in the non-PG yes, um, exactly. demographic as Lockie McCarthy misses the technical free throw and we go to the final point of play. I would kick myself I didn't mention this. Uh, Nick yep. Draper's just started his wrestling uh, career. We have heard about this. Yes, now we have heard yes. about this, and we've seen some photos up on social media. Now I can't. Now he did tell me his character name. I can't remember uh, it. Dare say it, Dean. Dean. Dean Nixon or something. Dean Nick. There we go. Dean we've Nixon got his. Yes. We've got Nick's partner out of here with us in the comms here, so she can confirm. Yes. Dean Nixon. Anyway, I've got tickets for the next uh, the next wrestle that he's in. It's okay, <laughs> Roddy. Oh uh, dear. Interesting times. Meanwhile, McCarthy with the spin move. Oh, but we're back to a tied ball game. At one stage, Grandy's up by eight in this quarter. Glenorchy kid worked their way back to a tied ball game. So Rose into Broomhall on the cut. Broomhall back to Rose, and then good pressure there by Roby to hold that one up. So it looks like there's something shifting now towards Glenorchy, you would think. Yeah, and maybe that might give some confidence here in this last oh, quarter. And Broomhall no, out of court. Those boy wines <laughs> they, claim another victim. They do, they do. Uh, it's, <laughs> and it, it, they are very faint. And, uh, they are. Well, you know, you may mention it's great to be on the show courts. But, but then on the flip side is the athletes yeah. haven't been on the show courts. Mm, <laughs> so uh, making that right. adjustments to the wines can, can be a bit tricky. Mm. And sometimes when you have a, a final on a neutral court, it's really the ultimate test of which team can handle the different environment yep. of, a, of a big court like this. Yep, and then the, the stands out and everything like this out. You know, it's re always really interesting to see. 100%. So Broomhall puts it to the floor. Now McMahon. Broomhall has to put it up with one on the shot clock. Can't get it to go. And then ball goes out of play. And Glenorchy to get it back. So 41.7 here. We are still tied at 54. I don't think we've had OT all day, Nick. 
Oh, we actually we did. Oh, uh, we did in the shield. Did, yes, we did. Okay. That under 12 game I was telling you about ah, ended that up being an absolute thriller. Oh, there you go, Phoenix Roby with the two. Griffiths with a nice move. Now Brown, and then good hands by Phoenix Roby once again. Could this be the backbreaker? Glenorchia looking for Roby puts it up and draws the foul. He'll go to line for two. Just a good little sur uh, 30 seconds surge here from Glenorchy. And substitution, Sam White coming in. And Charlie McMahon will have a breather. So Roby back in line here. And I suppose the other thing too, Nick, you know, we talk about skill development and uh, all that kind of stuff, but the body development too. He's he's put on a bit of you know a bit, oh, of, a bit of muscle and a bit of size, and he, he looks a totally different man most to what we see 12 months ago. Yeah, and, and you know, spoke about yeah the amount of work he puts into his shooting and, uh, and his skills, but yes, he has been a big focus for him over the last yeah, year to two has been that. Um, and I think it was under 16 nationals he went away as top age and mm. you know, probably. I think it's fair to say they performed to the level he wanted to. Yep. Um, or, you know, get the opportunity as a result of that. Um, and one of the yeah, big parts of feedback was was that, go work on your body, and he's done that. And Noah Brown gets the two after missing that first attempt. And, oh, that was <laughs> nearly, nearly there too. But um, back to back to a two-point ball game here as Glenorchy lead at 58 to 56. And... Just seeing glimpses of, of where this game can go, Nick, as far as, you know, there's a little bit of run, there's a little bit of pace, there's a little bit of, you know, intensity there, but we're, we're slowly getting there, I think. Yeah, no, we are, we are. Mm. And, you know, like you said, it's it by no means it's been a bad game of basketball. No, it's no, just, certainly it, not. It's, it's just, just whacking that that edge, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, I keep finding, trying to think of different ways, I guess, to describe <laughs> yeah, the same yeah. thing. Um, but... No, for sure, there's been some some glimpses and, and plenty of talent on the floor, which is... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, wouldn't, I don't question that one bit. No, it's, no. Just been, it's just been the way this is, how the game's just been played out and and in just the, the manner, I suppose, it's it's taken, yep. really. And, uh, you know, sometimes you do get that in grand finals, I suppose. I mean, you know, maybe the, the sense of the moment or the occasion can kind of overhaul the team and then you play differently yep. to how you do play. Yep. So I suppose there's a lot of factors. Not that we're trying to throw excuses out there, but yeah, it's no, certainly sure. been it's certainly been a different game to what we've seen from the rest of the games we've seen all day. You know, big fourth quarter, and yeah, um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Last ten minutes. Absolutely. All right. I, I got to run here, Ronnie. So I unfortunately got a meeting. I got to scoot off to. All right. Which I, uh, I haven't timed very well. <laughs> but, uh, I was going to say, there's no days off for you, Nick. No, that's it. So, no, <laughs> thanks for having me on. And uh, looking forward to watching this back to see who gets over the line in the fourth quarter. All right. Thank you very much to Nick Martin there. Yep, you can take the hits off, mate. <laughs> and away you go. We thank him for his comments throughout the day and throughout all the games as Mitchell James gets the two to get scoring on the way in the fourth quarter. And, um, uh, no, great to have Nick on expert comments and uh, give great insight into what into um, what has been insightful for our coverage. So Griffiths missed everything. Brown able to save it. Here's Broomhall who works his way through. Now Brown goes for three and can't get that to go. And then James with the rebound once again as McCarthy comes up the floor here. So here's Roby. He's just finding his way into this. Now James into McCarthy once again. Goes for the drive and last touch there by uh, Fletcher Rose. So 12 seconds left on the shot clock. There's Roby restarts. Now Cooper back to Roby for that mid-range two. Can't get that to go either. Here's Griffiths. Now McMahon. So McMahon, and then a fight on the ball, and then foul's going to be called on Fletcher Rose just for bringing his arms in into the body, which is kind of an automatic foul when you're on the floor, and um, yeah, you're trying to go for that ball, and then bang, it's an automatic foul right there. So 
So McCarthy. Now Roby McCarthy from deep again to short on that one. And then Broom will come over the top. And that was a pretty obvious foul as far as we're concerned. We had a good look from up from up here. So McCarthy to restart. James, McCarthy pull up three. Yes. That gets the crowd up and about. Lockie McCarthy knocks down the triple. All of a sudden, Glenorchy out to that seven-point lead. And now Grandies need to play a little bit of catch-up. So Brown open for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by McCarthy. McCarthy up the floor here. Goes himself. Lost a handle. He wanted a foul. Referees didn't see it that way. It was Crown coming back into the game. Now McCarthy once again. Now Kroll. Low into Crennan. That's a great, it's a great play there inside. Lovely move by Lewis Crennan. And now this margin out to nine here. Can this be the quarter where it finally opens up after three quarters of tough grind basketball as Griffiths can't get the two to go. Rose tries to give it back to Griffiths and then ball gets stuck. <coughs> and the ball comes back to Grandies. So shot clock at nine. Now Grand is looking for a quick play here. And again, unfortunately, the, the court markings here and the so many lines do play a factor. And just a, a, a bit of a brain fight. I'd say brain fight on that play uh, and the turnover there. So McCarthy with it here. Now Roby back to McCarthy. Try to give the uh, give and go to Crennan. Now Roby able to pick it up. So Roby thought about it. Now McCarthy, shot clock at five. Tries to go wraparound pass, a.k.a. Steve Nash style. But that was a turnover. McMahon goes himself, kicks it out. Broomhall thinking about a step back. And why have wanted to crawl in Broomhall? I think Crowell was trying to get some advice there. Cooper gives it off to McCarthy. And probably, and then, yeah, no. Nah, unfortunately, too late on that pass. Cooper probably left it up there a little bit too long and the ball goes out of play. So McMahon coming down the floor. And then turnover. So Crennan Weber got McCarthy in support. Nice play. And foul being called. Daniel Sable wants a goal tend. Let's see what the play is. No, no, no score. There'll be five personal fouls on Fletcher Rose. He fouls out of the game. Sam White comes in. Lockie McCarthy will go to the line for two. Fletcher Rose has had a, a solid game. And um, well, just unfortunate that he's out of the game. So Grandy is now with a tough climb here, you'd think, uh, to try to get this lead back. McCarthy misses the second. Now Broomhall. Here's Griffiths. Thought about it. Now puts it to the floor. Griffiths, nice move inside and gets the two to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, Cameraman Abbey just have a bit of a chuck with the player. <laughs> put his hand through the cylinder, which you're not allowed to do, by the way. That is an automatic goal tend if you do that as the ball comes down through the hoop. As Lewis Crown gets the two to go. Has, gives a stand out to Noel Brown as well. And uh, just stamping his authority here in this last quarter. And <laughs> referee Nick Traper just having a oh, slight word with him to probably not do that. You're not allowed to taunt to a degree. So, Crennan to make the three-point play. 
So March now to 11. So McMahon with it as we come down the floor here. Six and a bit to go in this last quarter as we come to you from the Kingra Sports Centre by the West Coast Ball Connection YouTube channel. Griffiths fought about it. Now gives it off. Here's White. Kick out here to Broom Hall. Good ball movement here. Brown for three. Yes. Much better ball movement and good execution on that play by Grandiers. And we're back to eight points here. So this may not be over before we say it's over. As Kroll puts it to the floor, goes up, and a good drive. And then the tip can't go for Crannon, but he'll go back to the line for two. As Mitchell James is looking to come back in. Makes the second, margin back out to 10 points. So Griffiths getting double teamed, kicks it out. And then Paul Pass sees a turnover, so Kroll now with it. Here's Crennan, decides to pull up from deep. And can't get that to go. And ball goes out of play. And timeout called here by Ben Rose. So Glenorchy up by 10 at the moment. Five and a half to play. And we'll see what the Grandiers can come out with is in terms of strategy and how they can work this 10-point game back to some back to a, a single basket. So both teams in their huddles respectively. So been a nice uh, been a great day of basketball here. Been some good games on the other court as well, too, in the Shield Finals but also some good games here that we've covered today in the championship games as well too. So um, it's been a long day, that is for sure. So, But a fun day and we're back here again tomorrow doing it all over again. With the under 12s, under 14s and under 16 girls finals happening here tomorrow. So... So a big weekend of hoops. So play to restart. Lockie McCarthy going to get us going here. He'll look for Roby or James or maybe Crennan. He'll go to Crennan. And Crennan able to do that move nicely. Good kick out pass to Roby for three. Yes. <laughs> Phoenix Roby knocks it down and we're back. We're out to a 13 point ball game. And this could well be the dagger that Glenorchy are looking for to put in Grand Ears here. As Griffiths now has to put on some moves. So looking for a quick on ball here. Needs help from Brown. Now Griffiths decides to go for three. Short on that one. James with the rebound. Now Crennan with it. Now up the floor to Kroll. Kroll will look to go for a layup and does. So Griffiths bringing it down here now. 15 points is our margin. As this has always been threatening to blow out at some stage. It just before that might happen early in the game. But a nice fake by Sam White for the reverse layup. Nice job there. Yeah. And we're back to 13 now. So Roby. Now Kroll trying to go baseline. Broomhall shut that down. Good hands by Broomhall. Cran able to recover. Now Kroll for three. And he can't get that to go. And then McMahon and James scrap. And then bodies hit the floor once again. And a foul on the play. And then Crennan and White, and then a little bit of movement there, but everything okay on that one. And it's going to be on Sam White. So Grandies have hit the team foul limit, so Glenorchy will shoot.
crowd making a little bit of noise. Which <laughs> not a bit. Nice to, nice to finally see after what has been a very flat atmosphere uh, to truly describe it. So Brown. Now Griffiths here. Goes inside to White. Back to Griffiths on the cut. Rejected by Roby. Good defensive play. Crennan up the floor here for Glenorchy now. Crennan into Roby, who started a play, can't finish the play, unfortunately. Now Griffiths off and running. As Broomhall in support, along with Brown, goes himself, and it was a good option. Harry Griffiths gets it to go and will go to line for one. So good work by Harry Griffiths, who has um, seen some, some court time with the Hobart Chargers on Friday nights. He's always a crowd favourite. That is for sure, along with Phoenix Roby as well too. As both those boys always fight for that 12th spot. Here's McCarthy. So margin back at 12 here. So James into Kroll. Good transition play and the fouls on Brown. He's having a conference there. I'm not sure what over, but something to do with something. So it's, I'm just trying to work out what it is. Is it time? Is it due to time? Is it due to. Something happened. I really now wish I did mic the referees up because I'd like to know what has happened down there. I'm a bit lost on what the goal is. But play restarts back down the other end of the floor and a quick turnover. And now Broomall for three. Brown with the O board and gets the two. So an interesting circumstances of events there, which we'll be reviewing tape on and having a bit of a look ourselves. And now foul on Griffiths. And that will send Phoenix Roby to the line for two. Makes the first. Girls <laughs> and the girls on the baseline making some noise with their feet. It's good to see that's a little bit of atmosphere doesn't doesn't hurt us down here. As White goes into Brown for the two. Nice play by Grandiers. So back to nine here, three minutes remaining. If Grandiers get a stop here, get a basket, we I reckon that's might make things a little bit more interesting. There's the stop we're looking for. Now Griffiths with it. He's got Roby and Cran to beat. Can't get that to go. And then the ball quickly up the floor to McCarthy. Stand by. Oh, I wanted the dunk. I wanted the dunk. But McCarthy did the right thing and laid it up. Griffiths from deep. And missed everything. And Kroll. Now Roby. He's Crennan. He's got James in support, and again, you want to keep it simple in these matter of moments. Here's McMahon. Good hands by McCarthy. McCarthy trying to state his case, but referee Nick Draper not seeing it that way. McMahon. Now here's Griffith. So Greenies need to get a quick score here, you would think. We're in crunch time here. McMahon puts up the shot, that short armed, and then good work by White. Kicks out to Broomhall, who puts up a tough floater. Can't get that to go either. Here's Roby with the rebound. Now Roby able to break free here. So McCarthy. 
And then lost the handle. Last touch by Broomhall. And timeout called here. So Ben Rose will burn his last time out. A minute 47 remaining. 11 points is our margin. Glenorchy are up by 11. And... And both teams, so I assume Ben Rose will certainly have a couple of tricks up his sleeve. And let's see what they can pull off in the last 107 seconds to go in this last quarter. Just a quick shout out to my cameraman, Abia, who's helped us out today. Uh, done a terrific job. And um, it's been, I know it's been a long day for you. You're probably not used to these kind of kind of days but um, great to have you with us and helping us out for today much appreciated so shout out to uh, to you Abio, which is good so yes we do the right thing we acknowledge you absolutely and we got i think we've got uh we've got jb coming in tomorrow so jb coming in to help us out with the girls so we'll we'll both um work the camera tomorrow all right so glenorchy coming out of their huddle And Phoenix Roby to start us off here from the sideline. So you, you'd think Grandy's need to get a quick stop and then probably need to foul or get another stop here to make things interesting. So we'll see what happens. There's Crennan. Now McCarthy. McCarthy puts it to the floor. It's half pull up. Nearly got the roll. Roby with the O board. Can't get that to go either. And ball goes out of play. So Grandy's get it back. Ten seconds only elapsed to there. So... A quick score here, You'd, and just make this a little, little interesting from our, our point of view. Broomhall kicks it out, White, now Brown for three. Just back on on that one, Broomhall with the O board, Broomhall goes for it. Short iron on that one, he gets the board again. Goes to McMahon, McMahon tries his luck. Third time is not a charm on that occasion, as McCarthy now gives it off to Crennan as we come up the floor here. Just on near 60 seconds remaining in this last quarter as McCarthy kicks it out. Roby for three. Can't get that to go. Good work by McCarthy. Beautiful spin move and draw the foul. Well, I've seen this in patches where Lockie McCarthy does show a lot of great br brilliance with, a with the skill set that he's got. And that was a great take to the basket. Now he's rewarded at the line here for two. This is the first. And the second one rattles out. As White loses it. McCarthy. Has got Griffiths to beat. Goes over and gets the two. Uh, I think we can safely call that will be game here as Grandiers will try and get another quick three up. And Broomhall can't get it. So McMahon now Griffiths for three. That missed everything. And then White with the O board. And yes, they're trying to desperately shoot the three ball. Brown done well there to recover. Now White fake goes. Broomhall this time. And a shot clock violation goes off in the background. And we'll see Glenorchy get it back with 24.3. And you'd think they probably dribbled this out. And it's where we will get this over halfway. Will they make one more play or are we going to hold this one up? Shot clock and game clock in unison. If anything, a .3 of a difference. So we'll see how this plays out here. Yeah, they're going to just dribble out here, the boys. So Glenorchy at one stage down in this game, but then able to rally back. But then Grandy has put up a really good fight and a, a fantastic game of a fantastic game of basketball, uh, which sees Grandy's uh, Grandy's going down on this occasion and Glenorchy getting the win, 83 to 70. And we'll have the presentations for you. My, my quick thanks to 
Nick Martin on special comments all day. Nick Traper, who helped us out of the under 12 final, who now refereeing. Uh, Gareth Allen, of course, our general manager for the South here for B Taz. You know, he's done a terrific, he's done a terrific job getting everything organised. And to you, the people that are tuned in by our West Coast Ball Connection YouTube channel, um, great. Thank you for your viewership. But that will pretty much wrap us up here from the Kingborough Sports Centre. We'll throw to the presentations and we thank you very much for tuning in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get our presentations of the way from the under 18 women's grand final. And uh, just, just very quickly, um, after a uh, 15 week season, which has seen over a thousand players, there's 91 teams played over 924 games. We're finally here this in point of the season. And uh, well done to both teams on making the Pilsen Grand Final in the Blue Rock and Grand Piers. Uh, today, the guys that are presenting the medals and the parts are, uh, of course, Ted Uffermeyer and Chuck Purchase from the Hobart Chargers. They're also here to present those. So, we'd like to do the runners up first. So, we've got Ben Rose, the head coach, to come on up. And it's more than welcome to start here at the Thanks, Mike. Congratulations, you've been the best team all year and back to the final cycle of the season. And to my guys, you know, the field of the whole world, we've had a really good season. We've done well, we've made a great final, we've pulled our hearts out, and we've made it up. So, yep, so I'm going to start with Gary Griffiths. to Lewis and uh, the 2021 Championship Division and running boys champions for the Lenorki Rebels Basketball Club.